Oh, well, did it for me. Even better. Thank you, game. <laughs> I should never had that happen. That's perfect. Alright, so let's upgrade the road. When possible, I want to have the largest road. We're going to put a tram track in. You don't actually get a bus, um, bus lanes or anything like that until later in the game. Even that, I don't really tend to use them. But you can see now the road is a little bit wider. You can see the, um, the tram track right in the, uh, right in the street there. And we're not going to use the outside road just yet, simply because there's no, no one built on it, you know? And when I'm building this, I'm just kind of thinking in terms of total coverage. You can see how the city's being used. Um, you want to make sure your tram line covers the entire area, so you're bringing people, you know, from zone to zone efficiently. So, I mean, you can keep this open while you're building. You don't have to have it open. I have a general idea just from looking at the buildings and what they all are. Again, I try to be logical, you know, cover all zones. Just take to the curves. I don't really want too many tight, tight corners. And whenever you run into spots like this, here there's not enough space. Totally not the end of the world. Just switch to a smaller. Out of money. See, burn through money pretty quickly. Ah, I see another space issue again, no problem. There we go. And I'm obviously not gonna do every street, just kinda you know, just the main ones. See, this kind of covers pretty much everything, or at least within walking distance of everything. Let's drop some stations in. Now, when I'm dropping these in, I'll kind of put them almost everywhere. It's gonna help the game a lot here. I think it's kind of silly that it's just building like that. Traffic, uh, it's kind of ugly. Um, traffic, it's going to be an issue, especially later on in the game, so try and tackle it early. And if you don't believe me, you'll, you'll see what I mean. Okay, lean this up a little bit, that's better. Now, when I'm placing my stations, I'll just put them in just quadrants, and I'll do both sides of the street. I might not necessarily use them. Luckily, the citizens will only line up in um, ones that are in use on a line. But I like to give myself the option. It might not seem like the most efficient use, but I don't think they cost very much in terms of maintenance to have. That's pretty much what we're after, right? It's pretty good coverage. Okay, so let's create a new line here. So we can see this is not quite profitable yet. Frequency every six minutes, which is not too bad. So the spacing is still not the greatest in between the trucks, but the lead one is starting to kind of get away, you know, from the rest of the group. But we'll check on that later. That's not really, not really our concern right now. So I like to start and end them around the uh, train station. So we'll start here, and we'll go this way. We're taking the outside rail going outward right now. So I want to make sure I'm clicking on the outside station too. In each city, I do usually two lines, and I, I kind of try to cover everything just in doing so. I 
and honestly, sometimes it just really depends on how I feel. Sometimes I'll loop it back around and then just cover the same same route, but going in the opposite direction. This time I didn't, just so it kind of wraps and flows in one motion, which is totally cool. So that's that line now finished. And just for the sake of helping the citizens out, I'm going to have one now going in the opposite direction. Okay, so this one will come into town. And I'm going to try and just hit the spots that the other line didn't hit. Now don't feel like the, the tram is going to go this way. Um, it would if you did a, um, a tram that wasn't, like a bus would go that way, sorry. But the tram, because it's governed by the tracks, is going to follow the nearest available route. So don't worry about how this looks. So think of it as we're going this way still, and we're still hitting it this way. So when the next station goes on, we're going to go stay over here. And now you see that makes more sense now, right? So the game will, the game will correct itself. And, oh, you know what, who do we want to serve? Either this guy or this guy. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll remove this one, the Queen's way. Go up here, because these guys can walk over to this station, right? And then we'll have them turn right. And then now he can go back this way. Alright, that's not so bad. So again, just to quickly get rid of everything, just hit delete. I don't want to get too overburdened by windows. Turn the cargo off. Be that way, yeah. And very depot up here. So we've only got um, stagecoaches this early on. So um, I guess we gotta wait. So I usually play at year like 1900. So I actually totally forgot um, that we don't actually get. Uh, any trams just yet. So, no problem, this will follow the same route anyhow. So, I do two to start. Put these guys on line two. Oh, out of money. And we'll put these guys on line, oops, on uh, line three. Now they're going to move people around the city. That's going to create a demand for transport. That's you can already see our station's already got people waiting for them. Um, eventually, it'll bring people to the station. That's kind of the whole goal of this. And it's a nice side income once it's running properly. They don't each necessarily make a lot of money. Um, I can get trams. Most of them they make you know 30, 40, 50 thousand somewhere in that ballpark. But if you add that up, you know, to a city times five or six cities, that's suddenly a nice little chunky change. So I don't think everything's profitable just yet. These guys are, but only just barely though. But let this run its course a little bit longer, right? Oh, you can kind of see here the goods kind of making their way over. Gonna pick up the bundles of sticks right here. Seven units in here. These guys, I believe, take four. it is using the line which is very important so now that it's run out like you can change it to um, so when you click on the line it says load if available uh, you can change this to make it stay until it fills up I, I don't bother with that I'll just let it kind of do its own thing I'd rather have them you know bring three out of the fours out of the four before that's okay and if they go empty on oh, it's not the end of the world this will eventually balance itself out now, I know you're saying, oh my goodness, that's so inefficient. It is, and we do lose a little bit of money in the beginning, but you gotta think in the grand scheme. Like, you don't really wanna be micromanaging every single one of your small lines, especially when you're trying to grow this, the, the city and the rails and stuff. So I'll just kinda let this be a little bit self-governed. And, you know, it, the pace will eventually kinda figure itself out, you know? But uh, until then, yes, you do lose a little bit of money. It is profitable, so it could be making more. Um, you can see even still it's actually not, we have to wait for these goods to be dropped off. And this is starting to be profitable, so you can see we're, we're slowly making our way here. Anyway, so I'd, I'd kind of say this is the first town done, in, in so many words. 
but it's basically ready for us to um, go to the uh, the next city, and we're gonna basically duplicate this. Um, you know, what actually, we should do is we should do that other um, truck line where we connect from here, because this guy is they want oil, so we can worry about that elsewhere. Okay, so let's do that. to do a tunnel. And this might do it on its own. Oh jeez. Does the game? Yeah, it does make a tunnel. 251,000. Insanely expensive. Yes, I, I hate when that happens. Sometimes the mouse will just let go of what you were doing. a little frustrating too. Okay. There we go. And we'll just upgrade these roads along the way. Oh! <laughs> Don't need the tram tracks. Now, I know you're like, oh my goodness, we spent so much money. Not really. Like, again, we can borrow up to 10 million we're in debt now, we're going to go at 4.5 once I bring this up. I mean, that's not too bad. Again, it's all relative. I know we're in massive debt and we're still spending, but we're building a very, very profitable infrastructure. Or at least it will become a very profitable infrastructure. I'm going to lay that groundwork. Okay, so we'll put in... That guy right there. This guy right over here. And we'll use the other one that's in town already, so that's convenient. And we also need this side, that's right. So this one will be a little bit of a longer line. Just slightly more complicated. Last. But now if you look at our lines, they're all profitable. And the profit will continue to grow. So we're already doing something right, which is fantastic. Okay. Alright, so let's do this. Now we have a few options. In terms of efficiency, um, it it makes sense for us to, I'm trying to think here, we can do two lines. All right, now for the sake of simplicity, I will do one line. Um, you could, however, do one that only feeds from here to, um, the, uh, to this guy, and another one that goes from here only to here, and then one more that goes from there into the uh, delivery. But I'll do it all as one line. I'll just put a couple extra trucks on. Because again, going back to the micromanaging, I just don't want to have to look after, you know, that two, three, four, five extra lines in each every, uh, city. Then it just becomes a little, little hectic. Because by the end of it, the the last city I was working on, I think I had close to 40 different lines going, which is pretty insane. And I had a uh, 200 million dollars in the bank. So I'll show you guys. I'll show you guys how to get there. And once you're at that stage, it becomes very, very fun. Okay, so we're going from there to here. Or actually, you know what? Because we can take both types of resources on the truck, we'll go straight to here. And then back to here, and then dump them off in the city. So this one's, again, a little bit of a longer route. Um, we could make this more efficient by doing two routes, but, you know, I'm thinking for the long run here. So, back to our garage. 
and I'm gonna do, I think maybe, I think we'll do more trucks than the last one. I wanna say eight. I'm gonna have to borrow some more money for this. What do we got here? Maybe one more. Let's try this. Don't be afraid to fine-tune, like if you find that you need more than, you know, what I'm doing, less than what I'm doing, or or if you find that you just can't really afford to have that much going in the beginning, just put one truck in, that's no problem. The whole point is to finely tune it so it's very well balanced, you know, you want to just kind of get as much profit as you can out of each line. And if you maximize each line, when you uh, look at it in the grand picture, you'll have a very profitable empire. And you don't want uh, the frequency to be too high. Otherwise, again, it's a little bit inefficient. So it looks like everything's pretty good right now. So we've got uh, two truck lines, two tram lines, beginning of a train line. Train line's kind of a, a nerd right now, though, until we get the rest of the cities into this same stage. So let's just move on to the next one. Okay, so we'll pick this city here. This is a little bit of a bigger one as well. So, same idea as the last one. We'll just start off by closing off the, uh, the gaps here. This city is for sure going to cross over the bank. So we're going to give it a little bit of a helping hand in doing that. Again, borrowing more money, I'm not afraid to. We're gonna have to like 5.3 million now, maybe. Dad, yeah, that's fine. That doesn't scare me. Alright. And I'm gonna do another bridge over here. I may have to delete a couple of these houses though. simple fun thing you can kind of pick and choose what you want the underside of the bridge to look like. I like little extras like that in the game. Okay now let's... oh I like this actually. much money spent. You'll kind of see- oh, for God's sake. Um, by the time I'm done, um, with, um, you know, doing this to a couple cities or whatever, <clears throat> that point I'll have the train line going. Um, I usually am 10 million dollars in debt. And it's like you're digging yourself up from that point. But you've got an extraordinarily profitable way to do it. So, like, You'll kind of see. We are definitely planting these seeds and we're going to have a nice strong tree. And if you don't do this, the city will do it for you. Um, but it's going to fill in the gaps very weirdly sometimes. And you end up with like a web of streets that don't really... Like the intersections don't flow very well. Alright, so let's upgrade these guys again. We're gonna give them a tram as well, so they have a bigger suit. 